Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is the GYS. So friends, as you know that on our channel, we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose, we have started multiple series on our channel that target your problems as well as mains. So in this video, we will be talking about our current affair MCQ series in which what we do, we daily discuss your current affair MCQs and uh, uh, and they uh, uh, daily we uh, discuss 10 MCQs and they are from basically the current affairs of the day. Uh, so the questions are framed uh, of the important current affairs that uh, that uh, that uh, that are of that particular day. So today is 31st October. So let's see what are the questions for today. So the first question is which of the following does not belong to Hosala Temple architecture? A Virupaksha Temple, B Keshva Temple, uh, C Lakshmi Narayan Temple. Uh, D. Doda Gada Vali Lakshmi Tem uh, Devi Temple. So, friends, answer is before you. Uh, there is no point of saying that uh, the answer is. Uh, it seems to be answer A because answer is obviously before you. So, the answer is Virupaksha Temple. It belongs to Vijayanagar architecture. So, context is basically work on the renovation has begun uh, in uh, this. Uh, uh, a work on renovation of the historical 13th century Lakshmi Narasimha temple in Bhadravati that developed after the recent rains uh, will co uh, commence soon. So uh, details the temple is located in the Bhadravati Taluk in uh, Simoga district of Karnataka site uh, state. So the temple was built during the Hosala rule in the early 13th century and the temple is Trikuta that is a temple with three shrines dedicated to deities Lakshmi uh, Narasimha, uh, Venu Gopala Swami and uh, Purushatma. So the basic building material being uh, is uh, is uh, soft stone. Uh, so the temple stands on jagati and the, uh, and the outer walls exhibits a two tier uh, decorative plan. So here you can read about uh, more detail by pausing the video. Now let's move on to the next question. Next is consider the following statements related to Competition Commission of India. First, it is the statutory body responsible for enforcing the Competition Act of 2002. Second, it consists of chairperson and six members appointed by the central government. So we have to choose that which of the above statements is are correct let me tell you friends that both of these statements are correct uh, so the answer would be c so competition commission of india it was it is basically established under competition commission act uh, 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 and uh, uh, this is basically responsible for uh, uh, enforcing the competition act 2002 so uh, it prevents activities that have an appreciable adverse effect on the competition uh, in india so the idea of competition commission was conceived and introduced in the form of the competition act 2002 so the, a need was felt to promote competition in private enterprise especially in the light of 1991 Indian economic liberalization. Now let's move to the next question. Next is which of the following article of the Indian constitution details uh, uh, deals with uniform civil court. So this is quite easy uh, uh, question. Uh, A article 44, B article 25, C article 25, uh, D article 51. So friends the answer is article 44. Uh, so uh, it is a part of uh, directive principles of state policy in which uh, uh, it has been uh, uh, kind of we can say uh, a directive has, is given to state that it shall promote uh, uh, it shall strive towards uniform civil code. So now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following pairs. First, Hori Hava Sport Karnataka. Second, Jalikattu Tamil Nadu. Third, uh, Kalri Pai to Kerala. Fourth, Malakham Madhya Pradesh. We have to choose the which of the above pairs is are correctly matched. So friends, let me tell you that all of these pairs are correctly matched. Answer is D. Uh, so these are different types of uh, 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 basically uh, uh, we can say festivals that are prevalent uh, over. Uh, uh, st uh, these are basically sports. So they are prevalent in different states. So the question has been picked from in today's uh, the Hindu. Uh, so next is consider the following pairs: first Gori Gora Gons, uh, second Sohrai festivals Santhals, uh, third Ch Chaliha Sahib festival Sindhis, fourth J J John Beal Mela festival Tivas uh, 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 Tivas. So we have to choose that which of the above pair is are correctly matched. So answer is D. That is one, two, three, four. So all are correctly matched. Now let's move on to the next question. Next is which of the following article of the Indian Constitution enable the president to appoint the judges of the Supreme Court? Um, A. Article 218, uh, B. Article 124, C. Article 324, D. Article 123. Let me tell you, friends, the answer is 124. So, uh, uh, this is in the context of recent uh, appointment of uh, 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 Chief Justice of India, next Chief Justice of India. 
uh, after the the incumbent chief justice will retire that is uh, uh, whose name is uh, 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 ranjan gogoi so currently uh, the incumbent cgi is ranjan gogoi and then after it uh, bob day after him bob day will come uh, so solution is uh, b that is article 124 now let's move on to the next question next is the rand line seen in news is related to which two nations a india pakistan b pakistan and afghanistan c india and china D India and Myanmar. So the answer is B. So the run line is the two four three zero kilometer uh, international border that is between India uh, between Afghanistan and Pakistan. So it was established in eighteen ninety three between Sir Mortimer the Rand uh, uh, by Sir Mortimer the Rand, a British diplomat and civil servant of British India, and Abdul Rahman Khan the Afghan army to fix the limit of their respective spheres of influence, uh, influence and improve diplomatic relations and trade. So Afghanistan was considered by the British as an independent princely state at that time. Uh, so although the British controlled its foreign affairs and uh, diplomatic relations, so the single page agreement dated uh, 12 November 1893 contains seven short articles, including a commitment not to exercise interference beyond the Durand line. So the uh, joint uh, British uh, Afghan demarcation survey took place starting from 1894, covering uh, some 800 miles of the border. So the resulting line later established the Great uh, Game buffer zone between British and Russian interests in the region region so the line as slightly modified by anglo afghan treaty of 1990 uh, was inherited by the pakistan now let's move on to the next question next is consider the following statements related to uh, indian black uh, ibis first it is its habitat is highly restricted to water bodies only second the iucn has classified it as least concern it's uh, in its red list so friends we have to choose that which of these statements is are correct so the answer is b that is second only So Indian black ibis is basically a red. Uh, it is red na uh, nabbed ibis. So also known as Indian black ibis or black ibis is a species of ibis found on the plains of Indian subcontinent and parts of South Asia. So unlike the other ibises in the region, it is not very dependent on water and is often found in dry fields. So it is not as aquatic as many other species of ibis. So obviously, first statement is wrong. Uh, so it is not much dependent on water. So uh, and uh, then it is classified as least concerned in the IUCN red list. Now let's move to the next question. Next, let's consider the following statements. First, bona is a traditional form of entertainment, always with religious message prevalent in Assam. Second, only males perform uh, uh, roles of different characters, speaking dialogues in Brajawal. So we have to choose that which of the above statements is are correct. Let me tell you, friend, that only one statement is correct, and that is first. Uh, so the answer is A, one only. So the almost 500 years after Saint reformer Shri Manta Shankar Deva experimented with the literary language of Brajawali. So uh, Assam's bona has now reached foreign shores in an English in an English avatar. So it is a traditional form of entertainment, always with religious me message that is that is prevalent in Assam. So it is a simple drama which shows the victory of the truth at the climax, generally using pictures and uh, uh, mythological kings, kings, demons, and gold soldiers extra. So history of Assamese drama begins with the plays of Mahapursha uh, Shri Manta Shankar Deva, written in the early 16th century. So more details you uh, you can read by pausing the video. Uh, now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following statements related to edge computing. First, most of the data uh, da uh, data are stored, processed, and analyzed at the centralized data center outside the data generation. Second, it allows for quicker data processing and content de delivery. So which of the above statements is are correct? We have to choose that. Friends, let me tell you that only one statement is correct, and that is second statement. Uh, so it and edge computing is basically it allows for quicker data processing and content delivery. According to a research. Such by 2025, companies will generate and process more than 75% of their data outside of the traditional centralized data centers. That is at the edge of the cloud. So the and as the Internet of Things the devices expands and the need to process IoT data quickly increases, many IT uh, leaders are considering or, uh, or beginning to employ edge computing options. So edge computing is basically it enables data to be analyzed, processed, and transferred at the edge of a network. So that that means data is analyzed locally. Uh, close to where it is stored in real time without uh, without latency and rather than send it far away to a centralized data center and then process it so it allows for quicker data processing and content delivery so uh, edge computing is different from cloud computing so basic difference between edge computing and compo uh, uh, cloud computing is where the data processing takes place so internet of things systems from all of their computations in the cloud using data centers so in edge computing massive amounts of data generated by internet of thing devices are stored and processed locally so that data doesn't need to be sent over a network as soon as it is processed uh, only important data is sent therefore an edge computing network reduces the amount of data that travels over the network and thus reduces also the latency 
so friends this is all about today's discussion about uh, daily current affair mcqs so if you like this discussion then do ensure that you like our video like uh, the, you share it with your friends and lastly friends uh, we have a telegram channel the link of which is shown on your screen and uh, it is also provided in the description box so this is a telegram channel uh, where we have more than 14000 subscribers that follow us so if you wish, if you wish to join uh, this telegram channel then you can join because here we share our public resources uh, which the students can access for the preparation of CSC. So if you're willing to access those resources then you can visit our telegram channel and also you can visit our website that www.achieveias.co.in uh, and also our YouTube channel uh, you can subscribe to it uh, on which you are watching video and lastly if you have any doubts queries you can contact us at achieveias21 at the red gmail.com or you can also contact us at 896-892-0720. So friends this is all about today's video. Thank you. Have a very nice day.